Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Scrapbook Sunday 101, Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. If you'd like to place an order with me, just go to StampersDelight.com. Use this host code for the month of August. If you have any questions, you can also contact me. This is an exciting time because it's celebration time, and I'm going to tell you all about that before we get started. So let me just move this. Again, there's my host code if you'd like to place an order, stampersdelight.com. And also for some great stamping gift ideas, go to stampersdelightshop.com. We have a bunch of little um, apparel and just fun stuff. This is my stamping queen towel. We're all stamping queens, right? And this is a nice velvety towel. And on the other side, of course, it's um, terry cloth to wipe your hands during your stamping. All right, so I'm just gonna put this over here. Don't forget to check that out. So grab your coffee, grab your tea, come scrapbook with me. Right now we have the mini catalog going on. So this, um, you've probably seen my other videos and lots of fun new stuff. So for this scrapbooking one, I am going to do um, a little Halloween page. Now this is our cute Halloween suite, which I showed on my last YouTube live. We're gonna be using, or I'm gonna be using and showing you this frightfully cute bundle and how I incorporate this stamp set and dies with my scrapbooking. And that can be found on page 52. Now, remember, it's celebration or celebration. So with every, in the U.S., with every $50 item, you can get one of these great items in this catalog free. Um, we have the designer series paper. We have some stamp sets. I mean, it's just gorgeous stuff. Oh, I love these. The counting sheep. That's the one I did the uh, scrapbook page on last week. Dies to match our... Um, Shaded Summer, which is in the annual catalog, so don't miss out on that one. That one's a biggie because these dies are not in the annual catalog. The stamp set is, so you can buy the stamp set. Okay, and then you want to get the dies for free. That's a $100 um, order. If you get have a $100 order, you can get that free. Also, the uh, dahlias, Delicate Dahlias, that's a $100 one. So definitely check this out, but the... The other thing I wanted to mention in the back on page 17, it shows you this in your words. We're always looking for sentiments. We never have enough sentiments. So don't forget to check that out. With a $300 party, workshop, or order, you can get that free. But hold on, it gets better. But wait. <laughs> if you'd like to join Stampin' Up! Now and my team for $99, you get $125 of merchandise of your choice, plus business supplies, all for $99 plus tax, and they they pay the shipping. So that's a $10 savings right there, but wait, it gets better. You also get to pick one of 12 sets, uh, bundles for free. So you get to pay, uh, pick one of these bundles. One of the bundles that are free is this whimsy or whimsical, trees okay so it's the bundle though so in here and I'm just showing this because I have more to tell you okay so there's the bundle there's the stamp set and then here's the, all these great dies that go with that I did a video on this so check that out on YouTube don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos give me a thumbs up I do try to answer my comments, so please leave me a comment. So again, this is the Whimsical Trees, and this is the bundle. You can get this free by signing up or joining Stampin' Up! now. And this is also the online class this month, Whimsical Trees. And here's a couple of cards that I did with that. Uh, again, that, that video is out there. Now, these cards are not what you would get, but you would get other ones, and that's what I'm going to tell you about. I do an online class every month, this month for August. It's the Whimsical Trees. The information is on my blog, stampersdelight.com. So some of these gorgeous cards that I did with it. 
All the information for my online class is on my blog, and you only have two more days to sign up for that. You must sign up by uh, August 10th for my online class, okay? All right, so now we're gonna get started. Here's the Frightfully Cute. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee because it is early Sunday morning. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to clear my throat. It always happens when I start talking. Here's the Frightfully Cute stamp set. Of course, my stamps aren't in there because we're gonna be using those. I love the fact that it's got a to and from stamp because I always use those. And then here's these great dies. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Okay, so here's the dies to that bundle. And we're going to get started. First thing I'm going to do is bring in a piece of our basic white 12 by 12. Okay, then I am going to bring in a piece of basic black, which I thought I had handy. Let me just grab that. Never fails. I always forget something, right? Okay. So let me grab that because I didn't have that handy. Like I said, it's Sunday morning. All right. So I'm going to take a piece of our basic black. And I'm not even going to measure this, okay? I know that I want to leave an outline here. All I'm going to do is tear towards me. Doesn't matter. Up and down, I'm tearing. Okay. So I want that nice rough edge. This is the tearing effect, which I absolutely love this. That's going to go right there. Now I'm going to grab another piece, and I'm going to do the same thing. Just ripping it. Okay. That's going to go right underneath. So that is going to go just like that together. And it's going to go right here. I want to start out there so that I can see where I need to focus everything. Okay. So I may have to change this. For that, I'm using my stamp and seal. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this over and on the bottom of the first one, I'm just gonna lay a strip of my stamp and seal. Not up here, because I'm gonna be playing with that, okay? I'm gonna put that right in here. And then this is going to go right underneath here. So I'm gonna slide that under. I'm gonna use my take your pick tool just to lift that up and see where I want that. Right about there is good. Okay, so again, on this the very bottom, I'm putting my stamp and seal or whatever adhesive you use. Just gonna lift that up and I am just going to slide that in, just like that. There's the start of my page, okay? All right, so the next thing I want to do is I've already cut out some pieces here. This is four by five and a half, and these are two four by fours because I want to see, before I start stamping on my page, where I'm going to put my pictures. So this picture would probably go here, maybe one up here. Maybe I'll just move that over right there a little bit and maybe one right about here, okay? So something like that would work. What I'm gonna do now, now that I know where I'm gonna arrange my pictures, I'm gonna grab my stamp. So again, the Frightfully Cute, great, great, cute set. I'm gonna take Mango Melody, I'm gonna ink the, this up pretty good. I want to leave those sort of there so I can tell what I'm doing here. And I am going to stamp that right up here in the corner. Give it a moment for the ink to set in. This is the way the stamp looks, okay? It's supposed to look like the moon. I am going to grab my witch. 
ink her up real well. And I am just going to put her right there. Isn't that cute? I love that. Okay, so we got a little bit of stamping going on. Okay, I'm going to actually take one of the pieces that I cut out. Okay, so this is the witch that I cut out. There's no die for that, okay? And I'm going to grab a dimensional. So I have the edges of my dimensionals I do use, okay? Definitely save those. I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of dimensional on there. And what I'm doing is I'm going to lay that just a hair below that. Do you see what I'm doing? So now it's like a silhouette. Let me bring that up so you can see it. And you can even, if you wanted more than a more silhouette, you could do it like this. Okay, just giving it like a shadow, let's say, or a silhouette. Isn't that cute? Okay, so that's good there. Let me go ahead and lay these down before they move. And I forget where I want to place them. Now, I don't have pictures ready for these. I do have lots and lots of pictures for, of my son. Um, so obviously, Halloween, many years. But for now, I'm just going to do the layout. Okay, so there we have that. Okay, and I think that looks a little crooked there. This one might be a little crooked. Unfortunately, when I'm sitting here, you can lift it back up and change it. Sometimes it's a little hard for me to see. No excuse, right? Bear with me. You know what I always say. If I was perfect, I wouldn't be stamping. If I had to be perfect. Okay, I'm just going to move this down a little bit. It's okay to move things. This is how we all learn. Okay. Okay, let me just straighten that one out. And let me stand up so I can straighten it out right. I'm just going to slide it actually right under there a little bit. There we go. Okay. Your scrapbook pages do not have to be perfect, okay? They're for the memories. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to bring in a piece of our returning favorite, our black glitter paper. I'm going to use our adhesive sheets. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first I'm going to cut this off because I don't want this piece right here. I'm going to cut this roughly the same size. It could be a little shorter, actually. The reason I'm doing this is I'm going to be using some of those dies, which are a little bit more intricate and small. You can use regular glue. It's just so much easier. We're going to move this out of the way for a second. So much easier with our sheets. The hardest thing about our sheets is probably pulling them apart. I use my take your pick tool. There is a strip right there, so you can pull that off first. But if you do the other side... Okay, there's no strip, so. Okay. Let's just get that off my hands. Okay, and we're just going to pull this apart. Now, there's the sticky side. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to lay it down right in the middle. Remember, I said it's very sticky. We are going to move, whoop, we're going to move this up a little bit. Lay that right there. Okay. So now I have that adhesive sheet on the back. I don't care if it's straight. All I need to do is have a little glue uh, sticking to it. I'm going to bring in my mini embossed die cutting machine. And I am going to bring in some of those dies. I have a spider web. I also have a tree. 
and a fence. So I am going to do all three of those. Moving this up because I want to really get as much as I can out of this strip. So there's my three dies, and I can do it all at one time. Putting that in there. Layering it. And a lot of people ask me about the layering. Our, the great thing about our embossing machines is it tells you how what plates to use for what. They're numbered, and the instructions are right on the plates. So we have number one, number two, and then number two again. And I am just going to lay that down. I'm going to wheel it through. Now, for this, I do have to stand up to get it going. So I'm going to pull that back for a second. You might see my table shifting. Okay, so I ran it through once, but since these are really delicate or intricate dies, I'm going to run it back one more time. And you see everything's moving on my table. <laughs> okay. Let's get that out. So now what happens, there's my one die, here's my other one, and here's my trees. We're gonna start with the trees because I need another tree. So the thing I like about this is the fact that when you poke these out and you pull this out, okay, they fall out very nicely. And any of those small pieces actually fall out really easy. I'm gonna do this one more time. I am gonna get another tree out of this. You watch my videos, you know I like to get a lot out of my products. So let's see, this one I can do, I can probably get three trees, let's try it. I'm gonna do this one this way. If not, it's okay. I need at least two though. And again, going to, Put that through. I love this little mini embossing machine. I'm going to love it even more now that we have it and I go to California to see our kids because I can take it with me. Do some stamping out there. Okay, again, here's another tree. Let's see if I can get one more. I think I can. I sure can. Even if a little bit of it's cut off. Let's try it this way. Nope, it works better this way. I am going to get three trees out of that little piece of glitter paper. I love the black glitter paper. Don't just think of it as Halloween. It's so elegant for wedding cards or anniversary cards. Okay, now we've got our three trees, which is perfect. That's what I wanted. Gonna move my little machine away. Straighten out my table here. Have a sip of my coffee. Even though I'm not live, I love getting together with you on Sunday mornings. Don't forget to share my videos. Okay, so there, let's move those three over there. And we're gonna bring this back in. Remember this? <laughs> we're gonna start with the trees. So I've got three trees here. And the first thing I need to do, well, let me get this one off of here. Okay. That's my other tree. Oh. Do I have three or two? What do I do three? Am I losing my mind today? Okay, so I did three trees and I only have two here. I'm not sure why. Let's see what happened. Well, we'll go with it. I'm sure I'll find it. Okay, so we're going to take those apart. And we are going to go ahead and make a little scene here. So I'm going to take my Take Your Pick tool and just get a piece of that off. Okay, I'm going to place this one right here. I'm going to grab the second one. 
I'm not sure where the third one went. Just what I'm doing is just trying to grab one little piece here. It's easier with my, it's easier with your um, take your pick tool. Remember, I don't edit my videos. What you see is what you get. So we're all learning together. Okay, I'm gonna put this one right about here. Okay. I have the little fence. So those little holes right there help you get that out. And then of course we have the um, spider web. So I am going to grab my brush. If it doesn't fall out. The nice thing about this is we have the wire brushes, but when you use the um, adhesive sheets, those pieces that aren't supposed to be there come out really fast or quick. So I'm just going to see first where I'm going to put all this. Okay, so I might put that right there. And the little guy right there. All right, so let's go ahead with the spider web. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull that backing off because when I pull that backing off, a lot of those little pieces that I don't want, see, they come right off. Look at that. And the rest of them, I can either use my wire brush or just use my take your pick tool and poke those through. I was going to use my wire brush, which is on the other table because I'm getting ready for a class, an in-home class. So happy to be doing those again. These do stick a lot. Okay, so what I like to do is put something down and just stick those pieces on it. Otherwise, you're going to have those stuck to your hands. Okay, you can also take your silicone mat. Oh, I just found my brush. Okay. You can also take your silicone mat and press it down like that. And they will, some of them will stick to that. I'm just going to go ahead and poke the rest of those little ones out. There we go. And let's see. There we go. Okay. So I've got most of them out. This is, this is the only thing that takes the longest. See what I'm doing? I'm pressing it down on that mat so it stays down there. Oh, you can't see me. Sorry about that. Okay. And to all of you that have asked me to continue this because it's gotten you back into scrapbooking, thank you so much. I appreciate that. It's one of the reasons I started this because I really wanted to get back into scrapbooking. And I'm not... You know, well, we're, none of us are perfect, I guess, but I'm not a beginner scrapbooker, but I haven't been doing it for a real long time either. So, okay, that's got to come off. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, I am going to put my spider web right there. So cute, so cute. I've already stamped and cut out a few pieces. And this is my little spider that goes with that. And I'm just going to hang him right there. Again, using a dimensional. And I'm using my little pieces here that I can cut off. The great thing about those side pieces of your dimensionals is sometimes they work even better. Because, like, I need a little, a long piece for this. For right back here. And that's perfect when I cut the edges. here so I can put my crop my picture and put it right in there okay so now I'm going to bring in that little fence again just poking out those couple little pieces that didn't come out and I am you can add more you can add more trees all the way across I didn't I didn't do that and for time's sake I should have had those prepped earlier. Then we could have done trees all the way across. That would look pretty cool, right? Okay, we are going to pull this off. And 
and I'm going to put this right here. It's going to stand out, okay, because it's glitter. I know you can't really see it, but the little fence does stick out. I've already cut out one of the little owls. We are going to go ahead and put a glue do uh, dimensional on him. We're just going to hang him right on that fence. The other thing that I've done is I've already cut out some witches hats and we are just going to add those to the page. All right, so again, adding some dimensionals to that. Move this all out of the way. Little witch's hat here. And another little witch's hat. Right here. I want those little eyes to stand out. So I am going to grab some of our champagne rhinestones and I'm going to take the small ones and put those right behind those little eyes. And then just, you can just lift that up. So now his eyes stand out. Let me just move all this out of the way. And there you have a quick, easy scrapbook page. Again, you can add some more trees, which is probably what I'll do after the, um, after the video. <laughs> because I think the trees all the way across would be really cute. Let me just get all this stuff off my hands. Okay. Guess what? I found the other tree. It was still stuck on the paper. Yay! Okay, so we can use that now. I knew it was here somewhere. How many other people, when you're stamping or scrapbooking, lose everything? And you know you're at the same table. You haven't moved, so it's got to be on the table. And I'm just going to peel this one off. Trying to get a little piece of this. This is the hard part sometimes. Just trying to get that. If you have nails, it's even harder. So let's try down here. So oh, what I'm doing is just getting my taker pick tool to get this started. There we go. Okay. How about we put this right here? I think that will make this come. Oh, yeah, right there. I'm going to put it right there. I am going to add some more trees to the bottom of this. And you can, I left this spot right here open because that's where I'll put my journaling. Cute little quick page for Halloween using the Frightfully Cute. I hope you enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you'd like me to continue the scrapbook Sundays. Okay. Definitely comment and give me a thumbs up. Thank you all so much. Have a great day and keep on scrap scrapbooking scrapbookers. Bye.